Welcome back to the vlog guys and welcome back to beautiful PNG. My name is Ryan and we are heading out to the swamplands of PNG, the Seabank. We're going to be heading into a bush place called Madiyama and let's just bring it up on the iPad so you can know what to expect once we get there. We're just about 10 minutes out now. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and bring up our four flight app and as you can see here, I started in WeWAC. Let me just bring it all the way out so you can see all of PNG with all the bush places anyways. I left WeWAC, it's a half hour flight out to Madiyama. Let's just go ahead and bring up the strip chart so you can see Vertical track. what to expect. That's Betty letting us know to go down here in a second. So the elevation of the airstrip is 25 feet, so pretty much sea level. The length is 640 meters, so it's decently long. It's a little over 2,000 feet. There is no slope, so it's flat. Hopefully they've cut the grass. I think so because I'm picking up passengers out there. So I can land with four knots of tailwind in this aircraft and there are no additional notes. So we're coming in from the north and we're gonna go fly overhead, come back around and then enter into a left-hand traffic pattern, okay? So to set up my, it already let us know to go down, but let me just quickly show you. We're gonna go ahead and quickly put in, hit flight plan, hit the button and come over here. We've already put a thousand feet in, hit enter, enter. It brings us down to our target speed and it looks like we're gonna have to at least go at 826, so let's just go up to 900 feet, and then it just brought the top of descent right here. That's how you'd set that up for yourself if you do have the G1000. Let's go ahead and start on our way down. Let's turn our altitude bug right here, down to a thousand feet. Get our vertical speed and bring this down to, bring 200 feet before our desired altitude, or desired vertical speed. So I wanted 900, I'm gonna put it at 700. As you can see, it's just zooming right past 700, right up to 900. Now we click it over to 900 and it can kind of level off where we want it to be. Oh, you can see there's a blue arc right where, pretty close to where we want. Looks like we need to increase our vertical speed coming down a little bit more to bring that arc back. So we're two zero miles out. We've left 8,000 feet. Looks like it's a really nice day out there kind of scattered a broken clouds, probably around 2,000 feet or so. So let's go ahead and start on our checklist up here. All right, first things first is our selectors and brakes. Our selectors, talking our fuel selectors are both turned on. Checking our brakes, got that. Our cause, we're gonna turn Betty off so that she doesn't yell at us to let us know that we're gonna hit the ground. So that is done. Our V-Ref is we're gonna come over here to the aux page. We're at 5,330 pounds. We come down here, the closest number is gonna, gonna be 63 knots at 5,400 pounds. Go back over here on our timer reference. We already have 64 knots in there. It's just gonna remind us while we're in the pattern what our speed is that we need it to be. Our lights and inlet we'll get in a minute. Abort, per, abort procedures we're going to talk about once we get a little bit closer. But another thing I like to do is I like to set up my OBS, the runway heading, because this one is kind of surrounded, but we can still see it. But there's some jungle strips that, because the trees are so high and so close to the edge of the runway, we can't actually see it. So I set up my OBS as I get closer. So the OBS is going to be we're going to land on runway 1-2, so we hit OBS, let's actually get back to heading mode on our autopilot, otherwise it'll veer around, and switch our OBS to runway 1-2, and it now put a line right there, and that is my runway heading, so as I'm going around it, I can quickly look at that and know if I'm parallel with the runway. Alright, we're going to just go around, we're still in heading mode on our autopilot, so we're just kind of weave around these clouds as we're kind of coming down. We're at 4,000 feet right now. And it looks like that's around where the tops are. The bases, I'm guessing, are probably around 2,000 feet. And it looks like just a little bit of haze underneath of this layer. So looks like it's pretty decent weather. We're at five miles out. I'm gonna make a call just letting them know that we are approaching the circuit and let cancel our SAR watch. 1267, or correction, 6598 November Tango Zulu in the circuit Madiaba, cancel SAR. November Tango Zulu. 
Go ahead and reduce our power, put our prop forward. That'll help us slow us down. All right, autopilot is off. Going down below 140, looks like the cloud bases are far like 1,700 feet. All right, so the runway is behind that hill over there. Can't really quite get to it yet. We're gonna fly around it so we can take a look right over top of it. But not only that, it lets people know that we are here and if there's any kids playing or anything else or if they see some dogs on the runway, it gives them an opportunity to get those dogs off the runway. So we're below 140 knots. We're gonna go ahead and put our inertial separator into bypass, put our landing light and our pulse light on. That's complete. If we do need to go around, it's power up 20 degrees. Pitch for 73 at the end of the runway. Take a right-hand turn out, reset power to 740 ITT. Props and harnesses are done. Our SAR is complete. We can do 10 degrees of flaps. Start at 1,000 feet. We're gonna go ahead and level off. All right, it looks like they have cut the runway, which is great. So we're just holding 1,000 feet here. It doesn't look like anybody's on here, but man, it does look very, very swampy out here today. It looks like they've had a lot of rain and their water level is up. We're going to touch down probably around the, the burn marks. As we come in, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's about 60 meters in from the end of the runway, or at least from the end cones. All right, so we're going to just put our bug on here so we know we're just coming out parallel. Watch my altitude. Now I'm looking at my distance. I go out about a mile before I start turning on my downwind. We have flaps to go, our downwind. Our final is going to be 64, base 74, and 84 on our downwind. So we're going to go ahead and slow down now. Here's a mile, we're going to go ahead and turn our downwind as we're slowing down to 84 knots. 20 degrees of flaps in when we're at the end of the runway, which we are. We're going down, we want to lose around 300 feet, so 700 feet is where we will turn our base. Usually around 1.6 miles on the distance, usually gives a pretty decent, accurate number. You can see I can just line up with the runway right there. This is actually pretty good, it's a little bit sooner, this is 1.4, usually around this little island right here, you'll see as I'm turning. Want 74 knots on our base, turning final 500. 500. Nope, not 500 yet, Betty. 600. All right, flaps to go. We're just approaching, turning final. There's full flaps, checklist complete, and turning final. We're at 530 feet, which is exactly 500 feet above the runway. 64 knots for final. And we'd like to touch down around the first burn marks. A little bit early on my turn. All right, we've got 400 feet per minute on the vertical speed. Trying to get our speed back down to 64 knots. All right, we are coming up on committed. Three knots of tailwind. Then our limits. We're now committed to land. Burn mark we're going for. Bird. Alright, reduce to idle. Flaps up. Good, nice and firm. Alright, low idle. Alright guys, thank you for taking the time to watch. If you enjoyed that, consider subscribing. I put out videos like this all the time. Every week, another flight vlog. And feel free to share this with your friends, your other aviation enthusiasts. And be sure to give me a thumbs up so it helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And YouTube knows that this is an interesting video. So, I got some more videos coming up next. Be sure to check out some more. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day.